Oh, this is strange. It snapped to the bottom as well. Ah, this is a strange one. Might be a little bug. Might be just because it's too high otherwise. Ah, I will have to see that. Well, hello gamers, I'm Martuari and welcome back to another Conan Exiles episode. And yeah, bad things happened. Really bad things happened. I recorded two episodes yesterday. Uh, one was all about building, as you can see, I've been building a little bit. And the other was about uh, thralls. But for some reason, everything I recorded ended up as being zero bytes long. OBS decided not to work long with me, so I lost all the footage. Now, I won't be destroying the whole thing. Not at all. <laughs> uh, it took me five to six hours to collect all the materials, then another two to three hours to build the whole thing. So I'm not going to restart that, but uh, I might. I might just show you guys a little few things I learned while building the thing. And then I will be taking you inside to show you how uh, the thing is, how, what it is, how it looks like and what I did. So let's get started. Okay, folks, I'm back. This is probably the 10th time I'm trying to record this. I had issues where uh, OBS was uh, not recording a thing and giving me zero byte files. It took me a while to figure it out. But uh, one suggestion I have for you guys, check out your disk space before you start recording. Because, yeah, if there is no room on your disk, don't expect OBS to make big files. So here we go again. Uh, um, okay, no, this key wasn't it. It was... The Alt Z key to bring my HUD back and the V key to do other things. Okay, the building, building, building is what we are gonna do. And we will be starting with foundations. Now, with foundations, uh, easy trick press the shortcut key for your foundations. I put them on number five. And once you have them, you have a little outline of your foundation where it will be placed. Using the scroll wheel on, uh, scroll wheel on your mouse allows you to rotate your foundations which is pretty awesome. And using shift and mouse wheel allows you to uh, put them up higher or lower in the terrain. Now, once you have uh, decided how to place them, it's pretty easy. Press the button, one foundation presses, the second, the third, and they snap to one another, which is quite awesome. I'm going to be destroying these because I have already uh, put up some foundations in the previous test, uh, which didn't get recorded at all due to my own dumb mistake. But here we go. Uh, can I make some foundations? Yes, I can make fur foundations. Look, I already placed a series of foundations right here to show you a few things. And this is great. This is all perfect. But at some point you might have uh, uh, the problem that your terrain gets way too low and your fence foundation, well, your foundation doesn't snap to the previous one, like I had right here. So my foundation... This is the, where I started, back there. And once I got here, foundation went a little bit lower. But no problem at all. As you can see, you can stack foundations. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's simple. You just look at the foundation. There you go. It will be stacked on top. You can even add a third one and a fourth one. And probably even a fifth one and a sixth one if you wanted to. So that's how I did the whole thing down there. To, ha to have my, 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 uh, my floors, my foundations even, actually. Okay, that's, uh, that's going to be it for uh, foundations. Now we're going to do something with walls. And let me show you walls. Well, I'm using the uh, window frames, which is exactly the same as the walls. But otherwise, I will have to create some more walls. And yeah, which means collecting materials and stuff. Look, you press the button for your wall and it will snap to the foundation, of course. Oh, this is strange. It snapped to the bottom as well. Ah, this is a strange one. Might be a little bug, might be just because it's too high otherwise. Ah, I will have to see that. Ah, that's a strange one, a strange one. Maybe a bug, I don't know. Okay, but back on track. I'm going to show you, look at this, your wall places and you see a text saying outer face. And yeah, now the other face is on, on the other side, but, but if I would use my scroll wheel, you will see that it will turn the wall and outer face is now facing me, which means the outer face will be on the inside of this block. Scroll wheel, outer face isn't facing me, which means the outer face is facing outside of my block. 
There you go, one one placed. Another one placed. Ah, perfect. On top, hap, 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 easy peasy done. So, that's it for walls. I'm going to be placing some more walls up here. I think something like, ah, no, that, this one is placed incorrectly. Dismantle. Uh, the six key is what I wanted. Yep, put three high in a corner, which I will be using later on. There you go. So, I now have uh, ceilings. Well, ceilings, just as with arc, you can use ceilings to separate the floors of your building. Uh, I'm going to be placing these ceilings, uh, these set of ceilings at uh, three high. Because I noticed at some point you, you start to have issues. I didn't have issues when I placed them too high. But in my building, my first ceilings were at the fourth wall. So I'm going to be trying to place them. You see, they place perfectly. Now, there are there is an indicator which has, for example, this one now has... Uh, yeah, it looks like borders on the bottom. You can use your scroll wheel to select another direction for those things. Uh, I will be keeping them like that. It's two, three four and now you see it doesn't place anymore the reason well it says placement is too far underneath the ground well for me that's the ground up there that's not the ground it isn't too far under the ground but i think it probably means it's too high above its foundation let me show you if i do it like this i will probably have no issues at all one two three four Ah, oh, crap, I'm out. Oh, no, it doesn't place. Huh, I thought it would work with two. Uh, from what I have learned, this means that, yeah, they are too far away from, uh, from the attaching wall and too high above the ground, which means I will have to use pillars to fix that. And that's an issue I had in my building as well. I wanted to leave it open on the inside, but I just... Couldn't. Well, I was putting up some uh, some ceilings in between, but at some point I couldn't make it fit together. The top uh, is, I think, eight blocks wide, and I couldn't make it fit. Hold on, it's 12 minus 2. This is 10. Yeah, 10 blocks wide, and I couldn't make it fit together for some reason. Now, how did I fix this? Well, we have something like pillars as well. Uh, I don't have enough to make three pillars. I need at least three now because my walls are three high so let me show you I can I make pillars yes three perfect perfect okay what I did was I placed some pillars come on show me yes this one should be perfect this one is good this one is good which means I will now be able to place another ceiling and continue with my ceiling if I wanted to so that's one way to fix that. Uh, yes, which meant uh, you have to place pillars every, what's it called, and every fifth foundation, every fifth ceiling to make them stick. So that's one of the issues I had. I think we've done everything with walls and ceilings now. We added the pillars, but there are a few other things in the mix, uh, like sloped walls and sloped ceilings, and that's what I will be showing you next. Okay, I'm back. I had to collect some materials in order to show you the rest of uh, what I meant. But first of all, let's have a look at the, how are they called, the recipes you have to learn for that. First of all, you have to learn Apprentice Stonemason, which gives you all the basic uh, foundations, walls and door frames and doors and even a repair hammer. But in order to learn things like the wall frame, uh, the window frame, you have to learn an adi additional recipe. Same thing for sloped walls. New recipe, sloped roof, new recipe, sandstone fence, new recipe, you get the point, right? Wedge blocks, all, all the things, all separate recipes you have to learn. Okay, so I, uh, I have some materials. Let me make uh, one of each. Craft this one. Oh, I'm missing wood. Wood should be no problem. I'm going to be punched, punching this tree here and I should have enough wood in one go. Oh, let's punch it two times. Yep, twice. There. So I have uh, one sloped wall already. Yes. Uh, I have one each. 
Yeah, perfect. I have this one, I have this one. What I need next is some of these, which means I need lots of fiber. Fiber can be collected from, uh, from the plants. Let me show you. Fiber, fibre. Uh, there we go. Oh, I should have built two walls, two sloped walls each. Yes. Craft, craft, and craft more fiber. More fibre. Uh, there was fiber here, yes. These give fiber too, I think. This one? Yeah. The small ones give fiber too. Okay. Meanwhile, I can craft some more of these and I'm going to be showing you the next step of things. Uh, I should have brought some more of those uh, window frames as well. Uh, I think I need five. Window frames. Five. There you go. So, I have everything I need and I can show you what I meant next. The goal is to make a little sloped roof. So I'm going to be putting up uh, this one. Up, up. One more. Yeah, there you go. And use the sloped walls to make a little corner there. And yesterday I was trying to place uh, the sloped roofs, these here. And yeah, I, I had some terrible issues placing that last one. It seems to be working fine now. But in my building I had issues. Uh, look, this one is working fine. The other one, you see it's placing outwards sometimes. Uh, scroll wheel didn't work. I had to position myself correctly. Like now it's placing it on the outside wall. Scroll wheel now works to make it uh, in the right direction. So that's one of the issues I had with my building as well. I couldn't make this last sloped wall fit the way I wanted. I had to, yeah, it was a little bit uh, icky. Uh, that's how I would mention it. Okay. Now that I have shown you what troubles I had to go through, uh, maybe it's time to, well, demolish everything here, but I will be demolish demolishing uh, only the bottom part. The rest will fall down anyway. Quickly do that. Uh, actually, I can do that off camera. Okay. Now that we've done this, uh, thirsty again. Oh, and my bag of water is empty. Luckily, I live, well, I placed my building close to some water. Uh, it's only one step away. There, full the bag. Okay, we're all set. So, what did I do? Well, I made this building here, which will hopefully function as an advanced outpost. Let me show you on the map. The little guild uh, building, well, little, the guild community center, that's what I wanted to say, is somewhere up here. And we've already found out that metal is in this, can be found in this area. So I thought, why not build something in between our community base and the metal area? That way people don't have to travel up and down all the time. Because the raw metal weighs a lot and you need two raw metal to make an ingot so i thought why not build a forge up here so that we can walk up down melt it and then transport the rest if necessary so that's what i'm tr trying to do so this will be a yeah i thought why not build a building which is a little bit big i started with something 12 by 10 but that re didn't really look all that well it was a little bit too yeah too i wouldn't say small but uh yeah, the dimensions didn't match. So I, I went ahead and built something a little bit bigger. 12 by 15. Two walls high. And then I thought, well, why not add a second level? And that's what I did. Added the second level with some stairs. So the second level is uh, still pretty big. It can fit quite a lot of things. Starting from here, I went ahead and placed some sloped walls. So, yeah. Two walls straight, two sloped walls, that's what I did. And then I added again two straight walls, which gave me another little floor up here. 
and yeah, it's looking good. And from here on, I placed normal ceilings up top, which gives me the roof of this building. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. This is the roof of the building. I will have to finish this off, of course. But uh, yeah, I, I still have room to place stuff here and look at the view. Oh, doesn't it look amazing? Nice view on the statues. On the other side, I have a view on the broken bridge. But then I thought, yeah, if this will be an advanced outpost, why not add a guard tower? So I added a 4x4 blocks tower to it, which has, well, for now, two two levels. The third one isn't really ready yet. Every level has its little platform outside, which I think I will be removing because it just doesn't look good. I will be removing these outer ones, so it's uh, one block wide. It just doesn't look nice like that. I have no idea why, but from the especially from the bottom, it doesn't look nice. So, I added another level. Here we go. And here I did the thing with only one uh, sealing out the little platform and yes the view is even better you can clearly see people coming from afar I can even see what's coming from that direction if I wanted to not quite sure if I will end here maybe I will add another level or two but I will probably be doing that off camera still a few things I need to do which is finish off the roof the top of the tower as I mentioned might be doing it two levels higher not sure why but just because i can and yes i will be putting up fences up here so people can't really fall off that's also something i have to do i will be adding doors because otherwise people might try to jump from that uh, ledge into our building which we don't really want so i need doors go back this will all get removed and i will be placing uh the what's it called the the fences you just can't fall off. There we go. Meanwhile, night has fallen, so I will be waiting until uh, the sun rises again to continue our little episode here. Yes, the sun is rising. Look at the view. Doesn't it look amazing? Yes, I know. Even my character looks amazing. Eh? Okay, bring back the herd. Otherwise, I will be falling off uh, this thing. So that's uh, that's the tower. Yeah, I, I need to clean that. Uh, I think I placed one block incorrectly up there. So I have some things I need to fix, but nothing major. Mm. Oh crap, I don't have... Huh. I will have to jump down to fix that, actually. And no, I won't be leaving. Oh no, it's up here. Nice. There. Fixed. Fixed. Everything is fixed. Of course, here I will need fences as well. Otherwise, I know myself, I will just fall down. Uh, the stairs, yeah, I will be leaving them the way they are. I quite like it like that. think the next step will be interior decoration. Uh, have some fires, some lights in here. That's probably the next step. So let's have a look at the recipes we can learn. Level up. Yes, I leveled up quite a bit already by making all the stuff and things I needed for this building. I'm already level 20, 23, reaching 24 pretty soon. Let's have a look at the engrams. So things I want to place inside is, of course, a blacksmith. The furnace is what I need and the blacksmith's bench. Uh, what else do I want inside is my armorer's bench, the carpenter's bench, and the, what was it called? The tannery is what I want. I think I might be having two of those. I'm not quite sure. But let's have a look at the other blocks, fence foundations. I think this will be used to make a wall around our building. So I'm going to be learning those. Uh, the candles. Yeah, I might be learning those at some point. I need the bed. I need a bed in here. Definitely need a bed. Uh, the fences. Well, I'm going to be skipping all that for now. The harnesses is probably something I will want at some point. Uh, bonfire inside. Might be a good idea. Yeah, why not? What else do I have? 
the palisade that's for the outside, a simple palisade, barricade of high shaped stakes, a bundle of sharpens. Oh, that's for the exterior decoration, uh, the, the walls around my building. That's nice. Uh, the Priest of Mitra. Hmm. Ooh, that's an upgrade to our existing Mitra thing. Um, yes, please. I'm going to check that out afterwards. I still have eight points. Let me check what I can do. Uh, I wanted some of those fires, actually. I thought I had seen fires. Okay, I have the torches, I have the standing torches. Oh, here they are. The bracketed torch is what I want, what I want next. And I also want it. Uh, I thought there were some more things with fire in there. Let's check, fire. Uh, there is this fireball cotton. Uh, maybe. Torches, I have learned. Are they chandeliers? Ah. That's normal candles. Costs one point. Well, why not? Okay, uh, I think I have about everything I wanted. Maybe. Yeah, tables. No, it's one point. Yes, why not? This is four points. I uh, should be checking the armor. What does it cost? Four points. Well, let's grab the... Uh, there is so much to learn. Look, pottery, stools. Uh, amazing, amazing. Ooh, the big chair for me later on. Mm hmm. So, hmm. This? Uh, I'm gonna try it. Concoction. There. I have one point left, which I will probably be spending in... Uh, the table maker. Why not? There. Plenty of things to play with. So, I think... Next up, I will be putting up some... Uh, Yes, some stuff inside, some uh, interior decorations, but for that I will have to go out and farm for stuff. And yeah, I think, I think I'm going to be keeping that for next episode, actually. That way I can go ahead, farm metal, maybe in the area, and uh, yeah, get some stuff going. So yeah, I think, oh no, I'm going to move to the other side of the building, or maybe to the top. Oh, that might be amazing. Uh, outros need to be done in style. Oh, yeah, need to put up fences everywhere. Fences, fences, fences. That's what I need. Okay. So here we are. Uh, still need to do some cleaning up, but at least you have seen uh, what I have built and the uh, trouble I had building and some building tips and tricks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. Check out the description. That's where you'll find links to my social media pages, to my Patreon page where you can uh, support me and also links to the other crazy folks and the creative misfits guys. While you are there, feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. With that being said, I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.